This is a GCE L-Level Pure Physics Revision Series. In this video, we are going to discuss, important physics definitions that you must know before you take your exam. We will talk about two chapters. Chapter 20. Magnetism. Chapter 21. Electromagnetism. This video is brought to you by, Ace with Dennis. Now, learning can be smart, not hard. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell notification button to stop missing out important updates from us. Also, check out the description area to sign up to our signature course, GCE L Level Pure Physics Full Course, at unbelievable price. It's one time payment. You can study anytime you like, anywhere at your convenience. You can also easily monitor and track your study with Udemy's system. There is no recurring monthly tuition fees. No expensive intensive revision workshops. You don't have to rush to any tuition centers. You don't have to worry on missing any lessons. Sign up our signature online course at description area now. Without further ado, let's get started now. Chapter 20. Magnetism. Magnets. A magnetic field is a region in which another magnet or a magnetic material experiences a magnetic force. Magnetic force experienced by a magnet is either repulsion or attraction. A magnet always has a north pole and a south pole. S. Yes. Magnetic field is the strongest of the poles. Magnetic materials are attracted to both ends of a magnet. Magnets do not affect non-magnetic materials. Like poles repel, and unlike poles attract. Magnets can only be identified from other materials, by repulsion. Magnetization and Demagnetization Magnetization is the process of aligning magnetic domains, in a magnetic material, in order to convert it into a magnet. Demagnetization is the process of removing the magnetic properties of a magnet. Soft magnetic materials, are easily magnetized, and lose their magnetic properties easily. Hard magnetic materials are difficult to be magnetized and retain their magnetic properties much longer. When a magnetic material is brought near a magnet, the magnetic material becomes an induced magnet. The magnetic material can also be magnetized by repeatedly stroking with a magnet or putting it in a solenoid that is connected to a direct current. A magnet can be demagnetized by heating or by slowly withdrawing the magnet from a solenoid with an alternating current. The direction of the magnetic field is indicated in which the compass needle points. Chapter 21. Electromagnetism. A wire carrying an electric current induces a concentric circular magnetic field around it. Right hand grip rule states that if the thumb points in the direction of current flow, the fingers will indicate the direction of the magnetic field lines around the current carrying conductor. Fleming's left hand rule gives the direction of the magnetic force represented by the thumb, which is perpendicular to the magnetic field represented by the index finger and the conventional current represented by the middle finger. A current carrying conductor or moving charged particle will experience a magnetic force in a magnetic field unless the direction of the current or motion of charged particle, and the magnetic field are parallel. Stationary charged particles do not experience magnetic forces. Magnetic field lines are drawn to represent magnetic fields. Lines that are closer together indicates a greater magnetic field strength, where a charged particle experiences a greater magnetic force. An induced magnetic field is the strongest near the conductor. It weakens as the distance from the conductor increases. Magnetic field strength also increases as the current in the conductor increases. A charged particle, moving in a magnetic field, perpendicular to its direction of motion, experiences a magnetic force that causes it to deflect in a circular path. A pair of parallel wires attracts each other if the currents in both wires are in the same direction. A pair of wires repels each other if the currents they carry are in opposite directions. A rectangular coil carrying an electric current in a magnetic field experiences a turning effect due to the magnetic forces acting on each side of the coil. 
The turning effect is used in the action of a simple DC motor. The turning effect and the speed of rotation of the DC motor is increased by increasing the strength of the magnet, increasing the number of turns on the coil, or increasing current using a soft iron core within the core. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Do you have any thoughts, opinion or experience want to share? Write it down in the comment area. We'd love to hear from you. Also, do you like this video? Don't forget to like and share it to your friends. Until then, see you in the next video. Have a great day ahead.